man, really 22 pounder, 10 and 5, man. What the good brother sports TV, bro. Good fellas. Good fellas. Don't forget to check out our sponsor, The Hell Blaze, at TheHellBlaze.com. 100% all-natural products from lotions, soaps, foot soaks, bath bombs, and much, much more. Use the promo code GOODFELLA1BOXING. Tell them your boy CJ Goodfella sent you. Get 18% off. We out. All right, man. Let's talk about uh, Wilder Fury heading to the fire week. Yes, last week I thought it was Wilder Fury. You know, I had came off that long drive to Charlotte, back from Charlotte. Charlotte's probably – Charlotte's really a great city, man. And – um. Wilder still talking about Fury cheating and cheer and Fury making excuses already. Okay, so um, right there, the conspiracy theorists um, on both sides, man. Here you go. Okay, you got uh, excuse me, I, I messed up. Hold on. So you got uh, Deontay Wilder saying that Sal saying Fury is a cheater. It's been rumors going around saying that he's been had proof that Fury cheated, but they don't want to mess up the money. Okay. For the fight, so you heard that rumor, and um, so so they say as far as water view for Fury being a cheater goes, he thinks that he hit him with illegal rabbit punches last time they fought, and that's something uh something with a f uh something filled up with the floppy glove. So my thing is uh, prove it, then, bro. Why are you why are you comp compromising integrity? For um, why you compromise integrity for money? That's my thing. Why are you compromising integrity for money then? Why you supposed to be this proud black black flower? I'm black, y'all, and I'm bliggity bliggity. I'm black, y'all, but you 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 let Al Heyman control your career where you can't even come out and and, and press charges. Now, I remember he did the press conference thing. Was it last week? The Sunday is technically a new day. And he said that uh one of the UK or Ireland promote well UK same thing. Um publications asked him, like, why you ain't press charges, bro? He couldn't even answer the question, bro. He said, quote, only got to do half of that. He ain't the ain't good. I only got to do half of that. He ain't what people think. He an effing cheater said why the PBC well, okay. This ain't an ideal way to kick off a fight week. Somebody who didn't have didn't have the ball. I won't even say the ball. I would say I'm gonna go ahead. He didn't say he didn't have the balls to say this man to this man face. People said, Well, you know, he didn't want to fear getting his head, man. My thing, you saying all this shit now. Why you didn't say this to this motherfucking face, bro? Come on, Wilder seemed like he's still mentally soft. I only gotta do half half of what you lost the first fight in a lot of people's eyes, including mine. You lost the first fight to me. And a lot of people thought you, you know, obviously you got obliterated in the first fight. So at this point, you know, if you lose, ain't nobody going to try to hear your evidence. Nobody want to see your evidence, no matter how good it is. Go away. Ring, ring, go away, come back another day. Nobody, come on, man, just if you ain't going to say it to this man's face, I don't want to hear, bro. I don't want to hear, dude. I, I mean, if you won't say it, was it Thursday the final press conference or the way in? I don't want to hear, bro. Come on, these dudes out here compromising uh integrity for money, bro. And that's what our him and making him do, man. Why would I why would I fight a man who 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 cheated, right? Why would I fight a man who cheated? Right, but I can't prove he cheated. Why wouldn't I just go ahead and press charges if I if I have uh evidence? Come on, his brother talking about the autopsy. Nigga, what are you talking about? Your brother did? Come on, man. He says, and we'll be rhetorical on October 9th at the deadline two times. He says, the minimum I can do for my brother is the, is the trainer. Is Okay, I don't care nothing about that. He said, I'm proud uh, that we're about to, you know, okay. Yo, they keep saying this shit, man. I don't, do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. That's all we ask you to do is do it. Do it. We won't do it. Just do it. Just do all this riff rap and talking. This, that, and the third man. Oh, he a cheater, man. He a cheater. He a cheater. Oh, shit. Prove it. But you want to sell out for a quick buck? That's what made people think he might be. That's why Tyson said, is he coming in for a payday or he coming in to win? Come on. You coming in the wind? I'm trying to find out what Fury said. 
So Fury says something. Oh, we'll figure it out. But like I said, man, these dudes talking about uh he cheated and shit, man. And they was aware, they was aware his uh they was aware that his gloves were flopping in the first fight and didn't say nothing. Like I said before, I ain't talking bad about the dude. I'm just saying the obvious nigga. Like I'm about to fight. All right. That's like me going shooting the fear one on the street last time they jumped me. Like I'm not gonna come back with people. I'm not gonna come back with a with a contingency plan with a gun. Come on. If he ain't watching them gloves himself, I ain't trying to hear nothing else. I ain't trying to hear nothing else, bro. I don't want, I don't believe you. I don't believe you. You know, he's a cheater. He's a cheater. He's a cheater. He's a cheater. Well, fucking prove it, bro. Because the accusations that you're making, they hard to believe. Hard to believe, man. So Tyson Fury with his excuses, man. He said that um he feel absolutely terrible from training camp from the wear and tear. Like, all right, man. So he said, uh, I feel terrible, absolutely terrible. But you know, in an eight-week training camp, and you were just winding down and you feel fantastic, you didn't do it right, he said Fury to the Daily Star. If you brutally brutalize your body for eight weeks, training twice a day, six days a week, getting battered, uh, battered to Brits to bits, inspiring. By four or five different guys at a time. If you feel great, then you're a bionic human being, being, excuse me. And in a week's time, uh, I will feel fantastic for you predicted. Oh my, look at fear already coming up with excuses. So that was somebody's opinion. So um I guess I, I'm gonna say I guess he's right. He's definitely right. He definitely right. I, you know, you if you don't feel pain, if you don't feel pain, man. And you don't feel fucked up, you ain't do it right. He is absolutely right. So, I mean, people take it as an excuse, way out, whatever it may be. You know, like I said, he make more sense than Wilder. He make more sense than Wilder, man. Talking about something was in his glove. What, what, what was in his glove? That's what I want to know, man. What was in his glove, man, that you let him put, that you let him put in his glove two times? That's what I want to What was in his glove that you let him put in his glove two times? That's what I don't know. What was in your glove that you let him put in two times? The first fight and the second fight. Because in the first fight, the gloves were flopping the exact same way. So, I mean, the first fight, it was the the first fight, it was the ref. He he, he prematurely called the fight. The second fight, he got something in his gloves, breathing spikes of water. Like, dude, like, be rational about this, man. This fight is if Wilder win, Fury cheated. If Fury win, you know, water was delusional. That's the name of this fight. Cheater or delusional. That should be the mantra or, or or on top of the banner for this fight. You know, did we know Tyson Fury was a cheater? Yeah, before you gave him a fucking opportunity to make, make more than you in this fight. They split 50-50 the first two fights, and Fury took 60-40 because he won the second fight. Come on, who the real who the real bad bit this man? You thought that you was about to fight a 400 pound to press Tyson Fury, you was gonna beat him. We was going to you know, keep up with Joshua with numbers in the United States, and that didn't happen. That didn't happen. That didn't happen. Tyson Fury was the worst, the only opponent out there that, gave, that was going to give you hella problems. Had you fought Vladimir Klitschko, yeah, you probably would have got knocked out, but you got you could knock him out. We know his chin you know, ain't, ain't that sturdy. You could have knocked him out. They thought Tyson Fury was done and over with. And it was a cherry pick come wrong. That's all PBC do is pick cherry picks. You know, they thought Lomachenko was 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 done when he they let him come over and beat on Gary Russell. You know, they thought he had lost and he had lost his confidence. Now he came in and beat the dog shit out of Gary Russell. Even though it was pretty close, like you thought. Who else? Kell Brook came and beat the dog shit out of Sean Porter. Tyson Fury came out and really beat Deontay Wilder. You picked Tyson Fury, man. You you talking about I'm gonna help you get up and you know, help you get back and all this shit helping the white man. These, these black people, man. And and you want us, to, you want us to believe that he has them in his glove. He spiked your water. Your costume was too heavy. That's what JDS said. Just shut the fuck up and go win. And if you lose, it is what it is. You made a lot of money in this two, three fights. You made a lot of money in your career. Twenty versus Brazil. Twenty versus 
Luis Ortiz, you made a lot of money. You had a great career with just the right hand. If you come out and win, I mean, then we need to hurry up. Uh, give him Dillian White out the way. If you the mandatory, you beat all the lane. And whoever went Usyk and AJ, we need to get that out the way. All right, you need to retire, man. No point of hanging around taking punishment when you're financially secure. You know, and if you lose, man, you want to continue fight, that's on you. But the only intrigue in this fight is if Fury truly cheated or not. That's it. You know, can Fury duplicate? And he said, well, the rabbit punches. Come to territory. Come to territory. Don't let them punch you inside your head. You know, don't let them hit you behind your head. Shit. So, at the end of the day, I think the the only excuse that he had that was valid was the rabbit punch. That's the only excuse that we can we can we can uh validate. All right, that's the only excuse that that's not even an excuse, that's a fact. When he got hit behind the head, it was a rabbit. And then also he put too much weight on in the second fight. And he put a ton of weight on the upper body this fight, so that could be the difference too. But hey, let me know what you guys think. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel on my social media links description. Twitter is the fastest way, and Facebook and Instagram, Facebook group in the description as well. Too when I reach out, we got business questions, private response, video questions on advertising channel. Please do I'm want to make a financial donation, cash app, CJ Good 313, Venmo, CJ Good 313, PayPal link description. Appreciate that. Don't forget, best way to donate, thumbs up, share, subscribe to the channel. One time for the one time, check out the heavyweight box news playlist. Peace.